God bless you. God is good. Today we're in the book of Philippians. Uh, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, Rejoice. Brethren, brothers and sisters, and fellow well-wishers, I know today we can look around and actually see a lot of reasons why we should be sad, we should be sorrowful. But I want to tell you today that there's really a lot more to celebrate than to mourn. There's a lot more to be glad and thankful for than to cry and just weep. The Bible says to rejoice. There are other chapters, verses in the Bible that encourages us to rejoice always, rejoice in all things, give thanks. And I'm saying, let us, let us rejoice in God because of what he has done, what he's continuing to do, and simply because of who he is. It's easy to look around and see that way. We have too much, too little, where we are lacking. It's easy to be pessimistic. Yeah, that's, that's a given for some people. But I'm saying, let us not see the glass as half empty, but half full. Let us see it as we can do so much more and gain so much more. Let us look at the positive. Let us rejoice. Let us, let us be glad. Let us be thankful because of who God is. Come on, pick yourself up. Pull it together. Come on, focus on what is good, what is happening. What is the positive, the good areas in your life today. Focus on them. Focus on that. Ignore the, the naysayers. Ignore the discouragers. But focus on the word of God. Philippians 4.4. 4, it says rejoice. Come on. Find a song. Sing a little melody. <laughs> that will bring joy to the Lord. And let's rejoice together. In Jesus name. Amen. <laughs>